I'm Don. Today we're painting another clay cyanide miniature. This time we're painting via slop chop with Army Painter paints with all Army Painter paints for the very first time. Speed paints are awesome, but I think you know I'm not a fan of slop chop, and I'll tell you why. I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, special thanks to The Army Painter for making this video possible. Now, before we slop chop, shameless plug ahead. It's only 10 days for the campaign for our Kickstarter campaign and there's only 10 days left before it ends. Our Kickstarter campaign is focused on teaching you via our PDF guides and video tutorials on how to paint miniatures. So if you are keen to learn more miniature painting, do check out our KS campaign in the links below. Now let's do slop chop. This time I'm using all Army Painter paints. In this video, I'll be using the Army Painter Dry Brush, Master Class Dry Brush. And of course, we're using War Paints Fanatic for the dry brushing of the zenital-ish slop chop underpainting. And then of course, we're using Speed Paints and then eventually highlighting again with War Paints Fanatic. Slop chop is great, don't get me wrong. Especially if you don't have an airbrush or you don't want to use spray cans. However, Dry brushing your underpainting, your black and white foundation color is kind of time consuming. Although I must admit that dry brushing to jumpstart a project is very, hmm, very fun. However, I find it very inefficient. Especially if you're painting an army or a ton of miniatures or you're painting a bigger miniature. And of course, just airbrushing gray paint over black primer and then eventually airbrushing white paint on top over the gray primer, you'll have a nice zenithal effect at a really fast like process. It's, it's more efficient and it's way faster. Now, if you don't have an airbrush, you could use spray cans, although spray cans are generally very smelly and my wife and my kids hate the smell but you could do it outdoors and it's pretty fast however like i said earlier using dry brushing or dry brushing the zenithal foundation color of your miniature is a great way to jumpstart any project especially if you're doing it late night or you just don't want to bring out your airbrush now speed paint especially the metallics are awesome they're simply awesome if you've seen my older videos i practically do slop chop even before the name was coined slop chop but i dry brush with other paint brands and of course i use inks even oils and other transparent paints now after trying out speed paints i bought like a starter set i think and i tried speed paints roughly around seven or eight months ago i i do not look back like speed paints are really great and they produce very nice it's it's a true one coat solution in a way but of course it can be messy by messy i mean the different like the transition or the division in between the different elements of the miniature like the skin and then the armor and then the leather parts can be messy especially if you don't like if you're not careful in the application of the speed paints now the main like what makes speed paint special especially version 2 of course is that if you learn how to layer with speed paints you produce very nice color depth now you see in the video i'm using a wash but if you mix speed paints with the speed paint medium the speed paints will act more like a wash and it will settle on the crevices and details of the miniature. But of course, you have to let dry in between the different layers of the speed paint but it's worth like waiting for it to dry because as you layer these transparent paints, you produce very nice color depth and your transitions are very smooth, especially if you blend the edges of your speed paint. Now, speed paint is a great one-coat solution, but 
if you treat it as your like as your base coat or your base painting or foundation color and then you layer up a little bit with highlights with war paints fanatic then it's it's like you're assured to produce better painted miniatures but even in comparison to the airbrush there is nothing as fast or as efficient as painting with speed paints or similar products now i always see this in my videos like highlighting or highlights over your miniatures are the highlight of your painting so it's 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 not a pun it's it's like the reality so once you have the base color with your speed paints it's a matter of just putting more highlights to give more depth and more contrast to your painting the amount of time you decide to spend on the painting of the highlights and additional shades to your painting will result to better painted miniature now, similar to how we painted the bronze armor, it's a matter of just using speed paints again to paint the rest of the miniature. But it's important to note that I wasn't happy with the painting of the skin because I see the rough underpainting, the rough dry brushing, and it shows through after painting the skin colors. So after like painting the skin tones, I'm not happy with the texture. I had to repaint the skin with war paints fanatic although i must like i apologize because i did not show that on video because it's not the focus of this youtube video now speed paint like reds the red colors are very awesome although be careful to paint this very harsh very saturated colors over areas that doesn't have much details Speed paints in general render really well over detailed miniatures, like detailed surfaces. So do not expect really good results if you paint speed paints over like cloak or even armor that doesn't have much details. But for groundwork like what you see in the video right now, it's awesome to use speed paints because they'll produce texture and you'll get very nice color or base color. And then it's a matter of just layering up highlights again so that you get more volume. Now, needless to say at this point of the video that you get good results, fairly good results with slop chop or dry brush and then speed paints. However, the more time you spend on painting more highlights and shades and layering up different colors over the miniature, the better your painting will look like. Now, I get requests from people to paint with just speed paints. I think they want me to just paint with speed paints without using War Paints Fanatic for highlighting. And I'll do that very soon, but I'm not confident with the final result. Now, as usual, the longer version of this video will be at Patreon. Now, before our final thoughts, I would like to thank all of you guys, my viewers, the channel is growing, and of course, my patrons. And special thanks to Army Painter for making this video possible. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Slop Chop. I just find it less efficient than just painting Zenital with my airbrush or spray can. Also, in my opinion, speed paints create very good contrast without like, hmm, without Slop Chop. You could produce nice contrast even with just white primer. It's, it's the property of speed paints of settling down in crevices and details and produces like a fake contrast that is what i like about speed paint so you don't really have in my opinion to do slop chop and you could simply just prime your model white and paint with speed paints and you'll produce great effects so although like i'm not discrediting the the value of slop chop but for people who doesn't want to use the airbrush or doesn't want to use spray cans slop chop is great or dry brushing your foundation color is great it's great to jump start any project but you don't really have to and it's very inefficient it's just simply faster to like prime all your models white or zenithal and you're good to go that's it, Pansit. I hope you like this video. Do like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And until my next video, guys. Bye!
Now, if you like speed painting, you might like these other older videos.